So in today's video, we're going to talk about QD connectors and slings or straps. And this is my preferred method of carrying. So I've done another video on how to carry your gear. For me, in that video I shared, I use um, slings and straps primarily to carry gear. And in the past, I've used one called the Black Rapid system. Now, in this video, I am going to show you what I switched to. So stay tuned to the end. And I'm actually going to show you how I modified some of the equipment that I had to employ these QD connectors. Now, QD stands for quick detach. These are actually not connectors that were designed for photography. They have their roots in the military and they're actually used to carry guns. I was doing some research on this and I felt a little skeptical when I first saw the system because it employs this, this tiny little clip. Uh, I'll call this the pin. And then it uses a socket as well. I'm going to show you a close-up of this real quick. But here's how easy, and the name is, is pretty easy to understand why, how it came about. It simply pushes in, locks into place, and then you push and it pulls out. And it looks like, uh, do I want to carry $15,000 worth of equipment around on this thing? But when you realize that the, the history of this is in the military and that it actually is employed by the military to carry their equipment, you start to feel like, okay, it's probably going to work. They also test these and this particular socket and pin is, is rated to hold 450 pounds. So I feel a lot better about this. And then having read a lot of people that have switched to these systems, um, haven't really read anything about failure. We will talk about that at the end. I'm going to show you three systems today. I'm going to show you one by a company called Magpul that is also sold through Kirk. So Kirk being the photography brand, Magpul being kind of the, um, the, the gun brand. I'm going to show you how I adapted my Black Rapid strap. And then I'm going to show you another adaptation for Peak Design. So three popular systems. Um, but let's just kind of show you how this works right off the bat. So for me, when I, in the past, when I've carried my lenses, I've used a connector like this. So this is an Arca clamp and it mounts onto the rails of an Arca plate, Arca Swiss plate. Pretty standard. It would clamp on here and then whatever carrying system I want, I've got a little carabiner. I would clip it onto my Black Rapid strap and that's how I would go about my day. Now the new system that I'm using also works very similarly. However, it's got a little socket that's built into the foot. So on this particular lens, and let me just step aside so you can see, I've got my regular foot and then I've got a plate that's attached to it. Couple of tips on buying plates for your lenses. First of all, hopefully your lens foot has two threads. It is much more stable to use two threads. So make sure you also have a lens plate that has two threads. Now for most long lenses, that is the case, but I have experienced some telephoto lenses that only had one mounting thread. That means at some point the plates could twist. Much better to have two. Now this particular one, and I'll show you a close up on the other side, you can see right here, it's got a little socket where this QD connector is going to attach. So pretty straightforward, right? You've got your lens foot, you buy the lens plate, you make sure that it's got a QD socket and you're pretty much ready to go. Now I'm going to talk about the difference. This is one socket right here, one point of connection. And then these straps, I'm going to show you the difference between one point of connection and two points of connection. So this is my old 500 millimeter. I'm going to put this one down for a minute and I'm going to show you my new 400 millimeter Z mount lens. Now on this one, and I'll show you a close up here as well. I've replaced the entire lens foot, so I'm not using a plate. So no longer do I have a plate connected to here. I've actually just removed and replaced the whole lens foot. This is the most popular among professional photographers. Um, this way you don't have to worry about that extra plate being involved. You do want to make sure that if you're using an Arca Swiss system that you've got an Arca compatible plate, which 99% of them are. Now with this particular one, and I'm going to give you the brand in a minute, I want you to notice the reason I purchased this one, it's got two sockets for QD. So now, I've got one here, I'll lock that one in, and I've got a second right here. I'm going to show you how that looks in a minute. So bear with me, but just notice this now has two points of connection. Now let's say you want two points of connection, but you only have one here. Well, there are adaptations you can make. So for example, this is a plate. This will actually, this was made by Pro Media Gear. 
It's got the QD socket built in at the top there. And then you would mount this to the bottom of your camera. And they make these in L brackets, so you could have an L bracket. In this case, I've got a full cage on there. So if you only have one point of connection on your lens and you want the second point, you do have some options here. You could buy an L bracket, a bottom mount, or you could buy a full cage, as long as it's got that QD socket built in. So that's a couple of the options. Now I'm gonna show you three different styles, and I'm gonna do a close-up down here on the table. It'll be up here on the right part of the screen. But as you look through these, the first one is this Magpul. This one's about an inch and a quarter wide, and you could see it's an oval that's designed to be fastened to a strap. So this isn't more of an accessory or an add-on as much as this one is just built in to the system. So this is one style. The second style is like what they would call a D-loop. So it's got a D-shape. And this one you can put, in this case, I've got it mounted to the peak design. But you could put a carabiner on that. So if I've got a little carabiner that I wanted to clip on there, I could clip that on as well. But you could see it's just shaped so that it, it points down and it swivels down here. And then the third one, uh, this one, by the way, made by Kirk. So I got this through Kirk. And then I'll put links to all of this stuff down in the bottom. And then another one, this is a more expensive version. Uh, the first one, by the way, about 15 bucks. The second one, about 35. I'll put a picture up here so you can actually see the pricing on these. So this one made by Kirk. And again, the same kind of philosophy. It's just gonna swivel here, just a little bit different design, a little bit more expensive. So those are what the individual QDs look like. If you're adapting a system, you're probably gonna choose either of these, the less expensive $15 version or the more expensive $30 plus dollar version. Um, I have, if I was doing it, honestly, the $15 version seems to work just fine. Now let's get into the individual straps and what I've tested and what I liked and what I didn't. By the way, I'm gonna show you three. Magpul, Black Rapid Strap, and Peak Design. One of these will be right for you, I think. However, there's not, and one I think is right for me. There's not, there's not one that's just like 100% better. There are pros and cons for each one. My job on this channel is to show you the pros and cons, inform you, and then you, you make the decision. All right, let's start with this Magpul. So let me do a close-up here of the Magpul system. So the Magpul is, again, a company more made for guns, adapted to photography. It's got two points of connection, so at any point I can plug it into two spots. Again, if I had that QD connector up here, I could plug it into the camera and the lens as well. So I've got two of these. The neat thing about this, or the thing I like the most about this is it's very flexible. So in addition to having two points of connection, you could see these here, I also have the ability, it's got this neat, I'll show you a close up of this, it's got this neat little part right here. I have the ability to snap this into each other and I go down to one point of connection. So if I only have that one point, I gotta be careful if I rub my mic, I apologize. If I only have that one point available, I can adapt this. Now, the pros of this one is the adaptability. It's the versatility built in, very, very secure. You're getting a very durable strap, military grade strap. Um, the disadvantage is that I didn't like the actual strap as much. It's a little more narrow, so this is inch and a quarter. It's got a couple of buckles here, and it's also got a buckle that's back here. So if you're, if you're swinging this, so remember, when you go to shoot, you're gonna go from this position, you're gonna take the whole system up to this position. Those little buckles are there, and the strap's a little thin. So what I like about it, strength, versatility. What I didn't like about it is that the strap was a little more narrow for me and it had a couple of extra buckles that, that rubbed a little bit. Wasn't totally uncomfortable. I did hike with it. Didn't really have much problems, but the hikes I went out, it's the middle of winter here, these weren't five mile hikes. These were shorter hikes, but I can tell you it wasn't quite as comfortable. So that system, very versatile, really, really liked it, but was not my favorite personally for me. Now, let's go to the second system. And this is the one that I've been using. And I'll show you a close up here. They make this Black Rapid. This is the one I've had and I adapted it. So I simply took off my old clip. It comes with this little threaded piece here. And I just opened this up, put the new Q 
QD connector on, and I'm ready to go. So what do I like about the Black Rapid? Well, it's comfortable. Of these three systems, and again, I'm going to try not to rub my microphone when I put this on and off. I apologize if it did. Um, this one to me is the most comfortable to hike with. It's got a padded shoulder. It secures here. So there's another strap that comes to secure. It's got one point of connection. And this is the only thing I didn't love about this. This system is designed differently. This one's designed so that the strap stays in place and the camera swings along the strap. All right. So the strap stays here. The camera swings here. It is only one point of connection. And while I don't worry too much about the reliability of this system, let me show you where I don't like that one point. When hiking, I just have to be careful because I'm, I'm mic'd up here. When hiking, I'm going to back up a little bit so you can see me. This camera tends to swing. Remember, one point of connection, and it kind of bounces and rolls as you're hiking. Now, when I'm hiking, I would always have my hand here, so it wasn't that big a deal. But I can tell you, it just kind of bounced around a little bit more than I'd like. Also, only has one point of connection, so if that failed, your camera's on the ground. Is it a deal breaker? Not really. It just wasn't my preference. Had I not tested the next system, this is, I probably would have continued to use this and simply just adapted to put a QD connector and use the socket that was on my new lens. I would prefer two connections. With Black Rapid, unless you do it yourself, unless you, you actually have to take the strap apart and re-put it back together, you'd have to put another one of these on, you'd have to figure out another way to do it. And maybe there's somebody out there that has, but with the Black Rapid strap, you only get that one connection point because again, it's sliding along the strap. All right, last one. The Peak Design. Now, Peak makes two models. They make the Slide Light, which is the one I've got here. I owned this, so I didn't go out and buy a new one. I'll tell you that I might in a second, but this one is a little over an inch wide. They make the regular slide is almost two inches wide, so it's a wider band. Now, this one is really unique because it, it's a two-point system, and it has to be adapted from its original intent. If you look down here closely, you're going to see that Peak uses a quick release system. So you see that comes out, and pops back in. When you adapt it for a QD system, you're actually going to take this adapter, this connector, and attach it to the strap. So you've got a quick connect here. You also have a quick connect here. Now, it's kind of good. It's a little dangerous in that the more the more you add to a system, the more points of failure you have. So for example, in this system now, if this failed, that's one point of failure. If this failed, that's a second point of failure. So now I have four points of potential failure. Now there's a way I'm going to show you that you can get around that. But I will tell you, the peak system has been around for a long time. The newest versions have almost a 0% fail rate. So I feel pretty good about about this connection. So I'm not too worried about this, but I am going to show you a tip at the end to get around that. So you do have to adapt it. The other nice thing about Peak is you could take these little connectors and you could clamp them or mount them onto your camera and this could become a potential second connection. Now what I never liked about Peak is if I want to connect to the lens, I end up having this little plastic piece hanging off my lens and the way they usually suggest it is to put this string through something. And if you don't, you have to put another clamp on there. So if you have another plate on top of your Arca plate, it's hard to get on and off a tripod. The beauty of this QD system is it's flush. So it can go on a tripod and it can still be used and everything just works real seamlessly. So there's some adapt adaptability here. You can take this little, these little uh, nylon clips and you could put them at other points to get that second point of connection. So let's say you've got one QD here you could add a second peak connector here, or again, you could try to find that QD socket and put it somewhere on the camera body. So what do I like about this one? Let me put this back together and I'm gonna show you. I like the two points better than one. So when I do this, I wanna make sure the camera's oriented the right way. It's important that the lens is facing backwards. I'm gonna pop these two together. Make sure they're secure before I do anything. Okay, connection looks good. 
And now I'm ready to shoot. The reason the lens is going to point backwards is because this whole sling is going to slide. You see how that whole sling comes up? Unlike the black rapid strap where it slides along the string, this whole system slides. Now again, I've got the, the narrower strap. It was pretty comfortable to hike with. I can only imagine the two inch version or the, the inch and three quarter version is actually even more comfortable. And that's probably where I'm going. I liked this system. I, I think I'm switching. I hiked with this. It felt more comfortable. The camera, it just, it didn't bounce quite as much as the others. Now it still moves. I'm not gonna tell you it's, it's locked into my hip, but it, it had less swivel because there's these two connections. If I wanted, if I had a, a, a plate down here, I could also adapt it so that one of these is connected to my camera and one is connected to the lens. That would be a little bit wider, so this connection would be wider. But I think I'm good right here. This is what I've, I've kind of settled in on, and um, this is what I'm gonna go to. So I'm gonna show you this one more time, and then I'm gonna show you a couple little accessories that you might wanna consider. This is the QD connector, two connections, if I only wanted to make this one connection, there's some tricks here, a couple tips. You could add a second peak, this little nylon clip, you could add a second one here. And then when you wanted to go to one connection, you simply pop out and you pop both of those onto one QD plate. So if you've only got the one and you've already got a peak system, you could do that. Let's talk about price real quick before I forget. All of these are around the same price, between 70 and $75. If you buy the Black Rapid, if you already have it, you can adapt it for about 15 bucks. You, they do, however, make a version with the QD already on it. That's gonna cost around $75, but it's built in. So if you're buying from scratch, might be something to think about. Maybe you just buy the QD version. The Magpul runs about 70 bucks, uh, and the, the Peak runs about 70 bucks. Now with the Peak, they do not make a QD system. It is not designed for this. So you would have to buy two of the connectors. That's gonna put you up to about $100. So Magpul $70, the Black Rapid strap with the QD built in about 75 bucks. And then the peak design with both connectors is gonna get you about $100. One other thing I wanna show you in terms of adaptability, they also make clamps. So this is an Arca clamp with the QD socket. And the way that would work is, if you ever had a need to, I have clients and they may not have this system and I may have a strap laying around. I said, oh, you can use my strap. What I can do for them is if they've got the Arca rail, I could just take the QD, pop it into the socket and it turns it into just a little Arca Swiss clamp. And now they can mount their camera on that. You could also, if you only had one, let me grab my old, old lens up here. I'm showing you all the options today, guys. If you only have one connector, so I've got two pins here. I've only got one socket in this lens, so I'm gonna clamp that there. And if I've got that uh, Kirk system, these little adaptability ones, I could pop that on. Again, this, this company that sells this particular one is Kirk. This clamp is made by Leo Photo. Kirk also makes a clamp, but I could pop this on. And now I've got the second connection there. So I've got one QD and one Arca. So just a lot of options out there. You can, you can adapt these to go from two to one. Remember the Magpul does it automatically. The Peak, you just have to tweak it a little bit, but you can absolutely make it happen. And the Black Rapid Strap is only going to have the one connection available. It's not going to have the two. I felt for me that this Peak system um, is probably the one that gives me the most versatility and allows me to do a lot. I'm going to keep the other sling. So if I have a client that needs a sling, I've got one in the car at all times. But um, that's why I like it. I, I like the system. It seems very reliable. It's quick and easy. The flush mount is a huge bonus over some of the other things. I don't have to worry about these Arca clamps, you know, loosening up. Um, feeling pretty good about it. So down in the comments, let me know what you thought of the video today. Are you curious about the QD system? Have you tried it? Is there anything I left out? I tried to be pretty thorough on this one, but if there's anything I left out, down in the comments, you can let me know and I can try to answer those questions down there. I'll also leave some affiliate links down below. And one of the best ways you can support the channel is if you're curious about the products or you're shopping for one of these products, click on the affiliate links down below. They don't cost you anything extra, but I do get a little bit of a kickback. So one of the great ways to say thank you is just by shopping with those affiliate links down below. 
Hope you enjoyed this one. If you're not subscribed, there's a subscribe button down there. Make sure you click that. And also the bell for notifications. That'll let you know when I have new videos coming out. I appreciate your support on the channel as always, and I hope we can continue to find inspiration in wildlife together.